So I know what you're all thinking, right? Another Big Ed video, who cares? We've all seen like a million of these. Why does it matter anymore? The trend is over and done with, nobody cares. But we came across one of his TikToks on our For You page the other day. We couldn't help but ask ourselves, you know, what, what happened to Big Ed? Where is he now? What the fuck is he doing? Why does he have a YouTube channel where he does mukbangs? Mukbang or mukbang? Mukbang. Mukbang. Not even just like mukbangs, but he does ASMR mukbangs. Like he has this one here. ASMR, Big Ed, Korean mukbang, and dating secrets. We all know Big Ed is Mr. Playboy 2.0. He knows how to get the ladies. He also has one that's just titled, 3 million people told me to go F myself. Maybe not so much Mr. Playboy 2.0. And then there's this one, Big Ed's Big Belly Flop. Is that, is the what? intro? <laughs> is the intro, what? wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Is the intro him doing the... Well, I mean, of course I only like dating girls half my age. I mean, maybe I'll do a belly flop. Also, why does he look like a fucking South Park character? Hey, for all of you who have been waiting like me for Big Ed, to take a big dive. Were there a lot of people waiting for that? Bruh. I didn't put that bruh sound effect in there. They edited that in, that wasn't me. Okay, I did put that edit in there though. And then fucking dab? He signed that. Big it out. So back to his TikToks. I mean, the guy's managed to pull like 867,000 followers on his TikTok account. So he's clearly doing better than our dead TikTok account. So at least he's got like some type of like virality virality going for him. Let's just get into it though. Let's see what Big Ed's up to on TikTok. Let's click the first one. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Yeah. Please Ed, I love you, but this trend is over. Just please stop it. I can imagine that one meme where it's like the girl or whatever. She's like, come here, honey. It's time to do your, <laughs> but it's like, his, it's, it's his manager. She's like, come here, Ed. It's time to do your TikTok sound. <laughs> oh. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best views. And... What? <laughs> Bye, Big Ed Where? Why do I feel like he forced like every single one of them to make that video? Uh, Jenna, <laughs> how you doing? Oh my God. Your cousin, Ali uh, Alyssa, what a pretty one. <laughs> Alyssa wanted me to reach out to you and uh, wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, oh you turned 29 on the 27th and I bet you're a hottie. Anyways, what? First of all, Big Ed does cameos, I guess. And he hits on the people during the cameo. Somebody buys a cameo for the grandma. So you're turning 80 next year. Then I bet you're a hottie. My birthday is April 29th. So you know what that means? We're Twinkies. We're like two in the pack, cream in the middle. This woman is fucking losing it. And is he wearing a dinosaur costume? <laughs> There's so many different levels to break down from this one cameo. He also put it in the caption too. Check out this reaction to the cameo I made for this hottie. Let's just see how much he's charging for these cameos. 75? I don't need you to call me a hottie that bad. Hey everybody, it's Big Ed and Ted from uh, 90 Day Fiance. That's right. Um, use the mouthwash, it makes your breast smell pretty. And um, I like the view. He's still putting his feet down on that mouthwash thing. Somebody could say, I can't use mouthwash. I'm allergic to it. It would literally kill me. And Big Ed's the type of guy to be like, how else am I supposed to kiss you? I think Big Ed is pissed. What does that say? Does it say haters on haters. it? Haters. I think the punching bag is winning, man. <laughs> Why did it look like he like kissed it though? I can just imagine other, other people in the gym are just like, what the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> what does he expect the haters to do after seeing this video? They're just like, Big Ed? Hey, good morning everybody. I gotta get up. I'm taking boxing classes, which are kicking my ass. Get motivated and get to boxing class. It's crazy. I gotta get ready for boxing class. He starts putting like lipstick on. <laughs> Why is there an animation of Big Ed going face down, ass up? <laughs> Somebody said, I'm a beat to this. <laughs> Can you guys go one day without being horny? Hey, Big Ed here, listen, I'm having breakfast yesterday, and this guy over here stops by and is like, hey, why don't you come and join our club? I'm like, why not? I want you guys to come by. Come down here. We're going to teach you how to defend yourself. Come down here. I'm going to kiss the fuck out of you. We're about to make out all day long. You walk in, he's just like, he's just like face down, ass up again. <laughs> oh, how's it going, haters? <laughs> Yeah, welcome to Title Boxing. How do you like this view? All right, look, here's my posse here in San Diego. <laughs> this is my best view. What about Dominic? What about Dominic? Are these your, your girls or what, man? No, they're my sister. Oh, nice. Okay, got it. Well, you look pretty studly right now. Oh, my God. Just leave it up to Big Ed to be awkward. Just leave it up to him. Any type of situation where there's younger people involved, it's just weird. These are girls, man? My fucking guy. These are my sisters. He's like, oh, they're my girls now. 
Okay, I think we've seen enough of his TikToks, but apparently this YouTube video he made is just next level content. Like I'm talking top of the line YouTube content. It doesn't get better than this. He gives dating advice in it. If that doesn't make you want to stay to keep watching the video, I don't know what will. Who doesn't want dating advice from arguably one of the biggest public rejections of all of 2020? It smells great. Why do you gotta chew with your mouth open, man? I can deal with ASMR, but it's the eating ASMR that makes me want to never hear again. Oh my god, it's... <coughs> it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <coughs> it's spicy, but it's good. I've been to North Korea. I'm just kidding. I've never been to Korea. I love Korean women. I can't control my horny level. They're so beautiful. I would love to. And I love Asian women. You know why? Because <coughs> it's spicy. I love Korean women. You know, especially the, the, the 20 year olds. I love when they're like 30 years younger than me. That's just the way I like them. They age well, just like wine. The most exotic food I've ever had. I would have um, escargot and, and mountain oysters, which are bulls balls. Wait, whoa, 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 sus, <laughs> sus, 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 that's sus as fuck. And the most exotic food I've ever had are balls in my mouth. That's gonna get clipped out of context, man. <laughs> he just starts getting all like graphic. Yeah, I love like bulls balls. I love like bull dick too. <laughs> Really good. I'm also a big fan of horse dick. I gotta be like really horny to have, uh, hungry to have them though. Snuck some bulls balls in my salad one time. Spicy. I love Korean women. I love Asian women. I love all women. You know what? Can I tell you guys a secret? No. When it comes to dating? No, please don't. Snuck some bulls balls in my salad one time. I'm starting to date again when I ask a girl to go out. I like it more excited. When we go to a restaurant. Did a noodle just drop on his yep. chest? Saving that a little bit for later. But if she's nice to the waiter, she'll probably, she'll probably, not probably, but probably, P-R-O-L-Y, she'll probably be nice to me. Look at Big Ed casually using the internet slang. Nothing to it. I didn't say this. Big Ed is really simple. I like bowls balls, steak, chicken. So then I get bored. So then every once in a while, I get hungry. Asian women, you know why? <laughs> it's spicy. I like when you go to fast food restaurants and you get the Asian women and there's always the Asian women that are, are at the bottom of the bag that are the best. Eating is a good thing. Asian women are a good thing, but bullying isn't. He's dying for some Asian poon, bro. He's just praying that just some random Asian girl that's watching this is like, wow, he loves Asian women? Let me hit his DMs right now. The Big Ed here, what's up? Sitting on my patio, chilling. Taking some of your questions. So my favorite thing to cook during quarantine. Bull testicles. <laughs> yeah, love me some horse cock. You know, most of them I don't even cook them. <laughs> yeah, I just eat it raw, straight up. <laughs> okay, somebody just asked why am I so sexy? Of course he includes that yeah. question. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sexy, man. What? Thank you though, appreciate it. What is my favorite Asian food to eat? If he says women, I'm gonna be, I'm out. <laughs> the video's just gonna end. I love a really good rice. My favorite piece, pizza toppings are... Bull testicles. We, just, <laughs> we keep going that route, but it's just like... <laughs> my favorite clothing brand, let me think, that's a hard one. He's gonna plug his own merch, I'm calling it right now. He's gonna say BigEdWord.com. Wait a minute, BigEdWare.com. Yeah, I fucking knew it. I knew it. Okay, good question. Why does my mom call me Pony? Okay, there's two reasons. One, when I was born, I kind of have a horse voice. So my mom started to call me Pony because of my horse voice. And then I am kind of short like a pony. Even his mom is roasting him? Big Ed and Ted here. Listen, we're here to read what we call our mean tweets. Here we go, let's get started. Okay, so the first mean tweet is, um, Big Ed, you look like a big pile of shit. <laughs> do we even have to make any comments on this? He's doing it himself. Here we go. My sister wants to do you. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> even though you look like a cartoon sloth. Okay, first of all, is your is your um is your sister Asian? 
Because I love Asians, by the way. You weren't wrong about he was just really praying for it. <laughs> I told you. You weren't wrong. Oh, here's a good one. Here we go. From a real close family member, I'm sure. Why don't you walk your fat into oncoming traffic? Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. You guys are fucking ruthless. There's a difference between just, like, hate comments and just death threats. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one. This is one of my favorites. Um, please jump off a building. You are gross. They misspelled gross. Jesus. <laughs> jump off a building? I doubt any of you watching this are the ones who made those comments. You don't have to like the guy, but don't like. Send him death threats. Jesus. Um, Teddy, scoot over. Okay, so this is one is from, um, here we go. Ed, you're a f***ing asshole. Yo, we, the paper's gonna catch fire. Why are you... Why are you? He's just, he, like, doesn't doesn't he doesn't even notice. He doesn't even. He doesn't even notice. He starts crying. <laughs> this is where it all ends, guys. Is this what you all wanted? What the? F Holy sh! Oh. F sh okay. Sh okay. Ouch. Okay. Listen. Mean tweets are obviously over. I went up in flames. That obviously happened. That was so stupid. Anyways, listen, uh, you guys, check out Big, Big Ed where .com. The guy behind the camera is like, plug your merch, plug your merch, plug your merch. <laughs> Big Ed here, how y'all doing? What is that hat? Is this trash on it? That's like the equivalent of those like short shorts that say like juicy. That's the equivalent of that. So that's what Big Ed is doing. And for those of you curious, Rose also has a channel. Her name is Rose Marie Vega. Uh, she's only uploaded like five videos. She's kind of killing it. She has like half a million subs and a lot of her videos have just about a million views. So she's doing pretty well for herself. So, I mean, that's kind of where it's at. Big Ed is in his backyard making mukbangs with Teddy. From what we've saw, it seemed very, um, like forced in a way, like it's almost like TLC is kind of like behind the cameras forcing and like making them make all this content and stuff. I guess trying to turn them into like social media influencer stars now. That way they can take a profit from it. It all seemed very, very unnatural and forced. So we'll see how long they stick with it and how long all this lasts. If I had to guess, it probably wouldn't be much longer. If you like this video, you'll probably like our social medias as well. We both have a Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow us there. We also go live on Twitch every Friday night, sometimes on Tuesdays. So if you're interested in any of that, all the links will be down in the description below. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. It helps us out a ton. If not, Hopefully our videos keep getting recommended to you and you click on them. So usually we end these videos on a joke, but our 100k plaque finally came in and obviously we don't hang shit. So we'll probably just put it on the ground with everything else. Fuck Big Ed charging $75 for a cameo. This motherfucker is not that cool. TikToks. I wouldn't pay $75 for a cameo from a bomb up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't- <laughs>